Hello class. In our previous classes, we have seen the various type of numericals based on Boole's law. Now today we are going to see another important law that is Charles law. Before that, we need to have knowledge about temperature volume relationship, how temperature and volume are related because Charles law is based on this temperature volume relationship. So this relationship can be easily understood by taking an example. Say for example, when an inflated balloon is left in bright sun and you will observe that it burst. The reason is that the air inside the balloon expands on heating with the rise in temperature. So the volume of the volume will increases. So if it does not find a space too much, then the balloon will burst. Okay. So in general, an increase in temperature at constant pressure causes an increase in volume and a decrease in temperature at constant pressure causes a decrease in volume. This is the uh, relationship uh, or this is the conclusion that we can draw from the temperature volume relationship. Now, Charles law. Okay. Experimentally, it was found that a fixed mass of any gas expands or contracts respectively by 1 by 273 of its volume at 0 degree or degree Celsius rise of falling temperature, provided the pressure remains constant. Now, based on this, Charles law has given his statement regarding the temperature volume relationship. Pressure remaining constant, the volume of a given mass of a dry gas increases or decreases by 1 by 273 of its volume at 0 degree Celsius for each 1 degree Celsius increase or decrease in temperature respectively. Now let us try to understand this statement with the example. Mathematical expression for Charles law. Let V0 be the volume of fixed mass of a gas at 0 degree Celsius. Okay. And let capital V its volume at temperature t degree celsius at constant temperature sorry at constant pressure then according to charles law from this statement we can write that is final volume v equals to initial volume v0 plus v0 by 273 into t that is this one 1 by 273 of its volume at 0 degree celsius for 1 degree rise or fall so it will be given by v equals to v naught plus v naught by 273 into t. Now from this expression we can take v naught as common. So it will be 1 plus t by 273. So what will happen? When you just simplify it, it becomes 273 plus t. Okay. And uh, 273 plus t. t is a temperature in Celsius, if you add 273, as we know, it will get a Kelvin uh, temperature, which is generated by capital T, okay. So, this expression can be um, re uh, replaced by T. So, V equals to V naught by 273 into T. Now, for a given mass of a gas, this V naught by 273 is a constant, because 273 is a constant and initial volume will also be a constant. So for that, we can replace this by constant k, say for example, v equals to k into t. Now, if we remove this pro uh, constant, we can put directly proportional sign, because when you remove the proportional sign, we put some constant. So v is directly proportional to t. That means, if we increase the volume, temperature also increases. If we increase the temperature, volume also increases. And from this expression, we can write, uh, we can bring this t down so v by t equals to k okay this is the expression from it one second charles law may also be stated as volume of a given mass of a dry gas is directly proportional to its absolute or kelvin temperature from this okay if the pressure remains constant so the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature if the pressure remains constant now let us derive the expression that we need for the numerical Suppose a gas occupies V1 cm3 at T1 temperature and V2 cm3 at temperature T2, then by Charles law we can write V1 directly proportional to T1, we will put constant K, V1 equals to K in T1, where K is constant 
and once again we can just uh, um, arrange it v1 by t1 equals to k and v2 is directly proportional to t2 so we can write v2 by t2 equals to k so finally these two constant are equal we can change the equation as v1 by t1 equals to v2 by t2 that will be a constant so this is the final expression for the charles law that we are going to use for the numerical in our next classes so assignment for today is you will find in the attach doc file document file